So today on Startup Central, we're also going to be talking about how technology, drones, can really help out at times like this, at the kind of crisis that we are seeing in Bihar. Joining us, two gentlemen who are spearheading those kind of technologies. Uh, one is Ankit Mehta, the co-founder and CEO at Idea Forge. Also joining us is Arunabha Bhattacharya, the co-founder and uh, CTO at Red Wing Labs. He's joining us on the phone line. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us here today. Uh, we're going to be talking about how both of you have startups, both of you have technology, drones that can really be used at a time of what we are seeing unfold in Bihar, uh, at times like this of natural calamities where it's also unsafe for people to go for safety uh, uh, rescue operations, or also just to make sure that medicines, food, etc., can be deployed. Ankit, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, welcome to Startup Central. Tell us a little bit about Idea Forge. I do believe that you know you guys are spearheading this kind of drone technology. Tell us a little bit about it. So, Idea Forge started as a company in the year 2007, but we've been actually dabbling with drones since the year 2004. And we uh, started off with uh, basically doing certain uh, small projects, building this technology since 2007. But uh, in 2008, when the Mumbai attacks happened, we realized that we have a technology that could have been used by our forces to do uh, and help save lives. So that started our journey full-fledged in this direction. And since 2009, we've been delivering our platforms to various forces in the country including using our platforms for disaster management. Uh, we were used during the Uttarakhand disaster. Uh, our National Disaster Response Force used us during the Nepal earthquake. We were used during the Kerala floods to help do search operations so that rescuers could reach those locations in a timely and effective manner. Going forward, what we see is that uh, these UAVs are going to be used also in helping people who are stranded survive and sustain till the time rescuers can reach them and do an actual rescue, uh, physical rescue, but uh, we can help identify where res survivors are and we can provide aid to them so that they can sustain in those uh, difficult environment and geography. Okay, and now let me just go across to Arunabha who is going to tell us about Red Wing Labs. And gentlemen, you know, feel free to engage with one another as well. Uh, Arunabha, welcome to Startup Central. Uh, tell us a little bit about your startup and how you're using drones uh, uh, for all these kind of things that we're talking about today. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, so basically, we at Red Wing Labs, uh, we're using drones to solve problems that exist in last mile logistics, particularly in the case of healthcare. But looking at it from a perspective uh, where you know, rescue operations are concerned, uh, so just as uh, Ankit explained, so uh, drones can work as a great first responder in these, these kinds of scenarios. So where you could use the drones to you know, either uh, get a, a real-time uh, feedback of what's happening on ground and then uh, further utilize them to you know, deploy uh, uh, immediate uh, supplies or anything that might be required there. So on one hand, the uh, drones can be utilized to uh, map out the locations in real time to find out uh, uh, using imaging capabilities they have. And at the same time, uh, the, from a logistics perspective, you can use them as a cargo delivery vehicle to deliver immediate supplies that might be needed at the site. So you, know, you guys both are sitting on technology that must be used, if I could call it that, literally to save lives. Uh, I'm going to ask the same question to both of you one by one. Ankit, let me come to you first. You, know, you spoke about how you realized uh, during the worst ever terror attack on this soil in Mumbai when the siege was on that you were sitting on the kind of technology that could have been used. Have you found the government since then forthcoming? Um, do they allow startups like yours to be used at times of crisis like what we are seeing at the moment? We have actually found that the government is quite sensitive and uh, at such moments of crisis, uh, they do wake up and they want to deploy technology like this and try and bring about as much uh, difference and uh, benefit that they can bring to the people in that scenario. I think what is required is for the government to be far more proactive about being prepared for a scenario like this. So deploying at the last minute can only happen in a piecemeal fashion. But what is really important is that disaster preparedness has to have an element of inducting technology that can help leverage this in a far more effective fashion. 
Arnava, if I could come to you, what is your experience been with the government? Uh, you just heard what uh, Ankit and uh, Idea Forge have had to say. Uh, yes, so in the last couple of years, we've uh, seen the government come up to speed very quickly in terms of drones, from a point where uh, drones, there was a blanket ban on drones, to right now where, you know, the first CAR on drones is out, and uh, the government's actually looking at uh, expanding to beyond line of sight operations, to allow the beyond line of sight operations, which would be the main use case for uh, the kind of operations that we're talking about. So we've had a pretty good experience, but yes, uh, uh, what Ankit said is absolutely valid that, you know, uh, the government need to be proactive in terms of being prepared for uh, such calamities because there's no control over uh, when, if or when it's going to happen. With that, gentlemen, I'd like to thank both of you for joining us here. That's uh, how drones are also being used, not just for food apps, for, for delivery that we've been talking about, uh, but really putting it to good use, whether it is to the last mile connectivity with medical supplies or just getting a real lifetime access in remote areas where people can't go to try and rescue them and to get those kind of imaging. Um, thanks a lot for joining us on Startup Central.